Boston, super seamless getting from the airport to our Airbnb where we dropped off some luggage, um, but we can't check in yet. So we've just kind of been walking around and now we need to go get something to eat. So I, can you hear that? We'll wait. Okay. So we need to get something to eat. We've kind of just been like, kind of like grazing all day with travel and whatnot. So we are going to go to a restaurant. You guys gave me all the recommendations. So we're going to head there. So I am a sucker for chicken and waffles and I'm also a sucker for seafood. So when I saw that the Salty Girl had lobster waffles, you bet I got it. All right guys, this is actually Colleen on the last day of our trip here. And I was thinking about it as I was going through and making this video. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a free download for you guys that explains why and how I make my food choices. I just thought that would be a really good resource to have for these like full days or full trips of eating. Cause I was thinking about, I was like, this might get a little lengthy for me to explain every choice. So I'm gonna do that. You can go down to the description, it'll be linked and it'll walk you through how not only on vacation, but also just day-to-day -day life, how and why I make my food choices and what kind of elements go into it. We'll still talk through some things, but I just thought that would be helpful. So snag that and let's get back to it. This choice was made mostly off of what sounded good versus nutrition, and that's okay to go with your taste hunger. Would I wanna do that all the time? Probably not, wouldn't feel good, but I was able to eat this in the amount that felt good and stop when I was satisfied. My husband got fried calamari, which was also phenomenal, and then after, we just explored a bit more around the city. All right, guys, so we have had a long, Day we got to our Airbnb, that's where we're at now. I'll give a full tour of it eventually. So now we are, it is like five o'clock. I did have some mango. We just brought this with us, just dried mango from Trader Joe's from actually one of my previous videos that I made. Um, just needed a little something something. So now we're going to run to Whole Foods and get some stuff. We have a little kitchen in our Airbnb because we, rise very early in the morning and we can get hungry. So we're just gonna grab some things to have for that. So we're just not in a rush to go to like brunch or breakfast um, and then come back here, change and we're gonna go to dinner. Don't know where we're gonna go yet, but we'll figure it out. So like I said, you guys gave me all of the recommendations and one of them was for some Italian places in the North End. So we ended up going to one and I love my seafood. So I got some seafood pasta it was not a plate of pasta, you guys. These were mountains of pasta. It was, again, phenomenal, so delicious. This was also based off of what sounded good to me. Again, I was able to stop when I was satisfied and still have room because I knew we were gonna go to this little bakery down the street. Oh my gosh, there was everything. Can we have a lobster tail and a Napoleon, please? So even though I'm a registered dietitian, I have not touched a single vegetable today and that's okay. I'm so excited. Okay, so we came back home, got in our jammy jams and we're gonna have dessert. So there was this delicious bakery and we got something called a lobster tail. I kept hearing people talk about it, no idea what it was, but now we're gonna find out. And then we got a Napoleon, a Napoleon. So these are what I call more soul nourishing versus body nourishing foods or nutrient dense. And that's okay, they're not bad, they're not guilty, guilt is not an ingredient. The lobster tail was not as sweet as I was expecting. That is very good. But still very good, and so is the Napoleon. Delicious. On to day number two. So like I said, for the previous day we went to Whole Foods, we grabbed some things. I had never had those peanut butter puffins before. So delicious. And we got some yogurt, berries. This is pretty typical of what we'll get on these kind of quick weekend Airbnb trips, just to get some fuel in our bodies before we hit the city and start walking around. We went to the Harbor Walk, which was, it was a gorgeous day, but it was also very windy. I got hungry before our first food stop, so I had some snacks in my backpack. I'd never had this before and I didn't love it. So we ended up walking the whole Freedom Trail and let me tell you, we worked up an appetite. That's probably why I got hungry, but I knew we were, like I said, going to a food stop, which was for cannolis. You guys said that we had to do this, so who am I to argue with you? But also, I really love cannolis and we just don't have any authentic bakeries like this where I'm from. 
Okay, this is the thing that I was most, ex one of the things I was most excited for. You guys told us to go to Modern Pastry and Mike's Pastry and do a taste test. So we got just a plain cannoli from each and we're gonna do a little taste test of them. So you guys were pretty 50-50 on which one you liked better. They both, the bakeries had different vibes and the cannolis actually looked different. So I ended up going with Mike's first. I'm taking a bite of it right now. There was so much filling in it, delicious. And then I went to the modern one, definitely it was different. They're different, they're both very good. I ended up liking the modern one better. I just like the shell and Mike's almost had too much filling for me. Also, I'm like the messiest eater. So after that, we continued our way on the Freedom Trail and stopped at Quincy Market and Finuli Hall. There was so many cute little shops and just little things to do, performers. And then it was lunchtime and we really just decided to be practical and eat our leftovers. I just heated up some of that on a plate. And at this point, honestly, my body was craving a vegetable and we had picked up some baby carrots from one when we went to Whole Foods, so I grabbed some of those to eat with it. We lounged around for the afternoon and I had a snack before dinner so I didn't show up ravenous, which typically doesn't feel good and it's not enjoyable. We stopped for drinks, well, my husband did. I'm not a big drinker, I just don't love the way that it feels, but I did have some of his. And then we went to the Atlantic Fish Co. for dinner. We got the Chilean sea bass and the main risotto lobster. We kind of did a little splitsies. Both of them were delicious. The risotto was so rich, there was probably so much butter in it, but guess what, that's A-OK. Okay, you can still eat that type of food. On to day three, and I made a tweak to what I ate in the morning because what I realized, why I probably got hungry, is I realized we got zero fat yogurt, which isn't bad, but when you don't have fat, it probably isn't gonna keep you full as long. I usually aim for all three macronutrients, carbs, fat, and protein. So I added some peanut butter to my bowl, and that gave me more staying power to trek all the way over to Harvard Square, which was such a cute little place, lots of different little shops, and the views were amazing. We stopped for a little brunch, and I love shakshuka, the bread was amazing, it was challah bread. And my husband got a salmon egg sammy. I've never really had acid reflux before until I hit my 30s and all of the tomatoes in this and all the acidity definitely did that a little bit for me, but it was so worth it because it was so good. And I also had some of my husband's sandwich. Also very delish. Okay guys, so we are currently walking over to Seaport and there was two food things that I was like super excited for. A, I wanted to eat a bunch of seafood. One of those was I want to get a lobster roll. So that's what we're going to do down here. The other thing I wanted to do was get the cannolis, but we did that and chef's kiss, absolutely delicious. I'm considering getting a box and literally like babying them as we go on the plate on the way home. Um, but we are going to go find ourselves a lobster roll. Plot twist here. At this point, I still had acid reflux and nothing savory sounded good. So we opted for ice cream instead. And we went to New York City a couple months ago and we regretted not going to Taiyaki NYC, but good news, they had one here. So we got one of their classic iconic like fish cones. This food choice was definitely for the memories and the experience. The little candy pieces were kind of fun. They just tasted like little candy pieces. Pretty standard vanilla ice cream, but the fish cone is really the unique part here. It was actually stuffed with something and we had two options. We could do like a custard. We ended up doing the red bean paste. That was the other option. I didn't love it. It wasn't bad. It just wasn't sweet like I was expecting. Your girl needed another snack before dinner so I didn't show up ravenous. So leftover pasta and carrots it was. We went to Neptune Oyster for dinner, which was really fun. Expect to wait like one to two hours, but it was such a fun thing. We don't really get oysters often. And this is where I got my lobster roll. Guys, I was so excited. Joe got a, I think it was called a Johnny cake, which was sweet. It had a little fish and caviar on top. And then we stopped back at Modern Pastry, but we got a lobster tail from there, which was, it was a brick, you guys. It was so heavy. And then we also got some pistachio cake. I liked this lobster tail so much better. The cream was sweeter and it was like crispy and kind of crunchy. So, so delicious, you guys. Highly recommend Modern Bakery. For our last day here in Boston, we kind of just cleaned house at the Airbnb. We had our pastries, then pretty much the same thing I had yesterday morning, just out of practicality and being short on time. Okay, guys, we are wrapping up this video here. That was everything. I ate on our Boston trip. Don't forget to download that free guide that I'm gonna put in the description for you. It'll help you understand more of the why behind I made those food choices versus just what I ate. That is so important when you are learning to 
eat with no food rules is the why behind the food choices. So we explained a little bit, but that will help you, especially with your every day-to-day -day life. But with that, we have got to get to the airport. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, hit the little bell to be notified when the next video is uploaded, all of the things. And thank you for sticking with me. If you go to Boston, I will link all of the places down in the description for you um, or list them that we want to highly recommend. The, my favorite thing that we ate I don't know, it's a tie between that lobster waffle and the cannolis. I actually did end up getting some cannolis to bring home with us. I did Google, can you bring cannol cannolis through airport security? And apparently you can, so cross your fingers. But with that, we are gonna go ahead and get to the airport and I will see you guys in the next video. See you later. As promised, here's a little tour of our Airbnb. The ceilings were so high. That's the thing that stuck out to me the most, but I loved it. And I also loved the like shutters that they had on all of the windows. It was just very picturesque, if you will. Then there was this little room with a mirror. I put my makeup on in there and did my hair, and this was the bedroom. It was also a super good location. It was pretty close to Boston Common and super easy to get to and from the airport, which is what we have to do right now. Thanks for watching, guys.